Hello and welcome back to a new video game review. So recently I've been playing Elden Ring and as an avid fan of Dark Souls games and action adventure games in general, I just had to play this game. Unfortunately, it's been pretty disappointing so far and very lacklustre. If you're new to Dark Souls games, basically Dark Souls games pride themselves on their gameplay and their challenging gameplay and boss battles and how difficult they're supposed to be. And Elden Ring is no different. The gameplay can be extremely challenging, but not in a good way. The only reason it's challenging is because it's more it's more frustrating than challenging. And that's mainly because the combat in the game is extremely unresponsive. Moving the main character around feels like moving an old man around. It's kind of like every action you try to do in the game has this strange one second delay. And every time you want to do an attack or move or roll or dodge or parry, it just feels like there's a very noticeable delay and disconnect between pressing the button and having the character actually perform the movement. I found the melee combat to be very unsatisfying. For example, when you're fighting against some kind of melee enemy, he's obviously winding up to hit you and you press block thinking your character is going to block when you press the block button. But instead there's like this weird delay and you end up getting hit in the face. You have no idea how many times I died in the game, not because I'm bad at the game, but just because the game is not smooth or fluid and the combat is extremely frustrating. Now I like to be mentally challenged in my video games just like any other hardcore gamer does, but when you're constantly losing in the game because of poor gameplay mechanics and poor game design, it just becomes well, it's not fun anymore. I honestly don't feel like I'm having fun in the game. When I see enemies or mobs waiting around, I don't look at them with anticipation of having a fun combat exchange. I just think to myself, oh my god, I'm going to get hit in the face again through no fault of my own. The AI in the game is also pretty bad and poor. The enemies just kind of stand around, circling around you, waiting for you to make a move. I found it so easy to just walk around enemies and sneak up behind them when it should have been pretty obvious that they could have seen me. So one of the things that sets Elder Ring apart from the previous Dark Soul games is the fact that it's open world. Now I'm not really the biggest fan of open world, I feel like it's a very lazy gameplay mechanic that game devs implement when they don't really have any other better ideas. And unfortunately the open world in Elden Ring is just not very impressive. It looks quite pretty on a surface level, but then you realise that it's basically just a very empty and barren excuse of an open world. Compared to other open world games such as The Witcher 3, which it is obviously trying to rip off, you can obviously see that it's taken a lot of inspiration from games such as Witcher 3, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I just feel like The Witcher 3 has done a better job at being a gritty, dark RPG kind of fantasy adventure game than Elden Ring can ever hope to be. The problem with Elden Ring is the fact that the story is very lacklustre, and this is very disappointing when you consider the fact that they got George R. R. Martin, the author behind Game of Thrones, to come up with the story of Elden Ring. You'd think that he would be able to make something that's really interesting. Unfortunately, it just feels like a rip-off clone of Lord of the Rings. For example, in The Witcher 3, I felt really interested in the story and the characters, and that made the open world and the setting and the scenes and the different towns and villages more interesting to be able to explore and find out about. I can't really say the same about Elden Ring. The main character doesn't even talk. He has no personality. And I honestly didn't feel like I cared or wanted to find out about the world in Elden Ring or the characters or what's going on. I just feel like they did a very bad job at hooking the player in to be interested in the story. It shouldn't be my job as the player to want to become interested. It should be the job of the script writers to make me interested straight from the beginning. Now, scattered throughout the world of Elden Ring, there are many bosses. There's mini bosses and there's bigger bosses. And just like how frustrating it is fighting the regular mobs, fighting these bosses is even more frustrating and annoying, mainly because of the size. Because of just how much bigger some of these bosses are than you, the camera just kind of goes crazy and starts spinning and flipping everywhere. And you're frantically trying to dodge and roll out of the way of the boss's attacks. And so many times I got stuck in the scenery or I got stuck in some corner of a wall and the characters just didn't really do a very good job at tracking me. Fighting these bosses is already frustrating enough because you need to memorize the attack patterns, otherwise you're just not going to stand a chance. You can only take a couple of hits before you get taken out by one of these bosses and then you have to start the boss battle all the way from the beginning which can be very annoying. And the only way to learn each boss's attack patterns is by repeatedly dying over and over again until you finally memorize how the 
boss is going to act and behave and move. And I don't know about you, but I find this gameplay mechanic to be extremely frustrating. I don't really enjoy dying hundreds of times against one boss. I just want to attack it and maybe have a bit of a challenge, but I don't really want to have to be stuck on the same boss until I've memorized every single thing it's going to do. I do not find this kind of gameplay to be enjoyable at all. Now this wouldn't really be a problem if they had different difficulty modes. There's no easy mode, there's no medium mode, there's no hard mode. You just get one mode and that is like the default mode. There's no option to make things easier. And as someone who gets really frustrated easily and gives up easily when things are too difficult, I just found myself not really wanting to play the game anymore because I was going to break something. I just found the gameplay and the combat to be very disappointing and a massive letdown compared to games like Zelda Breath of the Wild and The Witcher 3, which I feel like they do a much better job at the whole third person action, multiple enemy combat style. Now, when it comes to traversing the open world, you have two main options of transport. You have a mount and you have a teleportation system which is very stereotypical of open world games, not very unique or original. And as an advocate of originality, I just don't really see much originality in Eldering. I found myself just running through most of the open world in order to get from point A to point B, mainly because I just had no incentive or interest in exploring this very barren and dull open world and when I got the teleportation stuff unlocked I just teleported and zipped all over the place so it kind of felt like it was pointless so there was this open world there. As for the graphics of the game I wasn't really impressed and they weren't really up to my standards. The graphical fidelity of the game reminds me of games from 2015 or 16 at the latest. The graphics are just not very impressive, the textures are kind of poor and low quality. There's just something about the game's graphics that don't have a very polished feeling or look. It just doesn't really have the shine of certain modern AAA games of 2022 or even 2021. The character models and animations are also fairly lackluster and I didn't really think that it was a very good looking game in general. And I honestly don't know why there's so much hype around this game. It doesn't really look that much different to previous Dark Souls games apart from the fact that it has an open world now and in this day and age I don't really think anyone is surprised or impressed by an open world. It's just so bog standard to have open worlds in almost every single type of game now. Even racing games have open worlds these days. So unfortunately I won't be able to give this game a very good score. I just didn't really feel like I had fun playing the game. I didn't really feel like I wanted to quickly get back into the game because it was just so frustrating and annoying. So I'll have to give the game a 4.2 out of 10. Not great, not impressive. I just can't help but feel a bit disappointed, especially after all of this hype that's been going around for all this time.